Welcome to VIP, the program that has brought you in-depth interviews with such newsworthy personalities as General Nasser's military advisor, Charles de Gaulle's public relations man, and Stokely Carmichael's Spanish teacher. <laughs> and now, here is your host, F. Lee Corman. Good evening, I'm F. Lee Corman. You know, every September in Atlantic City, Bert Parks crowns another Miss America. But what does Miss America do during the rest of the year? For that matter, what does Bert Parks do during the rest of the year? <laughs> well, anyway, we caught up with Miss America in a hotel in Toledo, Ohio, where she will preside over the groundbreaking ceremonies for a new drive-in beauty parlor. Oh, Miss America! Miss America! Are you there? Here I am, Miss America. Here I am, your ideal. Greetings, my loyal subjects. It fills my heart with joy and happiness to be with you this evening. I have traveled the length and breadth of our great nation. <laughs> Who am I talking to? I'm F. Lee Corman, and you're being interviewed on television. Oh, am I getting paid for it? Well, of course. In cash or another lifetime supply of home permanence? <laughs> well, actually, we're, we're going to give you a college scholarship. Oh, what good is that? I were a high school dropout. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, Miss America, the competition is so fierce during the contest. Do the girls remain friendly? Are you kidding? There were three attempts on my life by Miss Congeniality alone. <laughs> Ah, ah, ha, ha, I remember you now. You were the baton twirler. Yes, I won the talent contest. <laughs> uh, Miss America. <laughs> Miss America, this must be a very busy year for you. Oh, yeah. I have traveled the length and breadth of our great nation from the rock-bound coast of Maine. Uh, I, I think I heard that once. You're lucky. I've heard it a thousand times. <laughs> Miss America, I understand that you're very closely chaperoned. Oh, yeah. My chaperone is with me 24 hours a day, making sure that I'm not bothered by any strangers. Good. Good? He's terrific. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, Miss America, do you have any sisters? Yeah, but I'm the only beauty in the family. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> Tell me, Miss America, what did you win when you became Miss America? Oh, lots of things. A complete wardrobe, a television set, a year's supply of deodorant, and an LP of Burt Park singing the Miss America theme. And what did the losers get? Two LPs of Burt Park. <laughs> Miss America, it's get been that, a... Yeah. Pardon, dear? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> oh, that, my goodness, you're adept at that. <laughs> I wanted to be a brain surgeon. <laughs> I see. Well, anyway, Miss America, <laughs> it's been a pleasure visiting with you. I know. You see, it's Miss America. I travel the length and breadth of breadth of our great nation. Oh, it came back. Blink <laughs> of important people, as well as people like yourself. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Well, I have one more question. What do you plan to do next year after you relinquish your crown? I plan to follow in the illustrious footsteps of most of the other Miss Americas. And do what? Never be heard of again. <laughs>